it's Natasha. Thanks for joining me for another HIT yoga class. I got a new garage door. I'm trying to make this my little new spot for teaching classes. However, I have not figured out the lighting situation. I have some new lighting coming. So hopefully I will be able to brighten this up since I am behind a window and need more light on the other side. Start at the top of your mat in Tadasana. Roll the shoulders back and down. Let's sweep the arms up. Cactus the elbows, pry the heart open, squeeze those shoulder blades back as you push the hips forward, engage the glutes, and then swan dive all the way down into a forward fold. Bend the knees, let gravity take over, shake the head, allow it to be heavy. Big breath in and out. We're gonna walk our toes back. Spread your fingers and find a nice high plank. Good, let's widen our feet and open up through the front body. So we're gonna sweep those hips through, up dog on toes, and then scoop up through the abdominals and press back to a wide leg, downward facing dog. Let's do it again with a cat back roll. Roll forward, hit your high plank, swing those hips through, feel that front side open, pull the shoulders down. Exhale, scoop into your plank, and back to downward facing dog. Breath in and out. We'll do that one more time. Round forward, find your high plank. Sweep the hips through, up dog on toes, roll those heels towards the sky. Zip back to plank. And this time let's bring our knees back and take a little extended child's pose. Keep the gaze forward and we're gonna take some knees, chest, chin, Pulling our elbows to our ribs, our heart and gaze forward and back. Three more. Charge it forward, knees, chest, chin, and back. Two more. Knees, chest, chin. Press it away. Knees, chest, chin. Press it back. Taking it all the way onto the knees. Tuck your toe under. See if you can reach pinky or fingers to heel. Press the hips forward and the heart up while reaching the left arm back. And switch, tuck your left toes, left fingertips to heel if possible, and then reach the heart up as you press the hips forward. Just breathe into that deep stretch as you reach the right arm back. Two more, switch and swivel to the right. Bring it back, left toes tuck, swivel to the left. Maybe taking it a little deeper, and we'll take a low lunge, right foot steps forward, release, and then zip up, 90-90, pelvic tilt. Relax into it, and you can go over toes. One more time, tuck, and sink. Good, come on back, bring the knees to meet, left foot steps forward, low lunge, sink. Pull it back to neutral, tuck the pelvis. Feel the hip flexor and quad on the right bottom leg, and then forward, Maybe the knee goes over the toe and you feel the ankle, Achilles tendon, and back. Two more, zip and tuck. Sink and pry that heart open, shoulders back one more time, zip and tuck. Pelvic tilt, core active, and then release. Take both feet forward. We're gonna step into a malasana. Pry the knees apart, bring the palms to heart center and try to broaden through the chest. Couple breaths here, and then any little stretches, maybe the wrists, feet, ankles, toes, we can kind of swivel, lift high heel, low heel, rocking side to side, maybe putting some pressure in the fingertips, the palms upside down, and fingers backwards. Little frog stance here. All right, exercise one or drill flow one. We're gonna take a downward facing dog, Try to tap our wrist, stack our ankles, and then come into this little flying malasana, flying warrior. So let's do one little quick stretch for the hamstrings, come back into a forward fold at the back of the mat. So we are prepared to do a little split stretch and keep the knee bent if you're tight in the hamstrings. Just listen to your body how far you wanna go and maybe as we do it a few times through, you find more and more space in that Flying Malasana. All right, meet me in Downward Facing Dog. 
This is flow one. We're gonna slide our feet a little closer together and the right toes up to sky, down dog split. As you hug the femur bone up, push the shoulders down and see if you can tap your wrist or maybe it's your pinky finger. Tap, lift the foot up, stack your ankles right over left. You're gonna bring your hips to the left and step on the right foot, pick up the left like a kick through. Take your stirrup hand on your left foot, right hand to left foot, and then try to pull the foot forward and open the right knee to the back so you're in this little flying malasana, we'll call it. You can bend the elbow, try to pull the knee towards your face, or you can keep it bent and you don't have to have too much flexibility there. Take a breath and we're going back the way we went in, so we'll just step and unwind. That is the flow, left leg lifts high. Big breath in and out. Take your left foot, pull it up, push the shoulders down, tap your wrist or your pinky. Lift to down dog split, left ankle over right. As you shift the hips to the right, step on the left foot, catch the right foot with your left hand, and then try to pull forward. Think half the goddess or malasana. Good. Pull the knee out and then start to pull that knee towards your face, the right foot towards you. Keep the knee bent if you're feeling any stress in the hamstrings. And then come on back the way you went in. Walk back and turn to down dog. Step right foot lifts. Let's do that two more times. Starting to pick up a little pace. Scoop it up. Push the mat away. Can you tap your wrist or forearm? Sweep the toes up, cross ankles right over left. Turn your hips to the left, step on the right foot, grab the left foot, fly it forward. Take a breath here as you try to pull the elbow high, the knee towards face, and then let it go, walk back and around to down dog. Step on the right, left foot to sky. Tap your left toes to your left wrist or pinky. Sweep it up now, cross ankles. Turn your hips to the right, step on the left foot, grab your right foot, top hand, bottom foot, fly. Really try to find the strength in that right side body, right shoulder, lengthen, step it back, walk it over, right foot lifts. Last time through, toe tap. Toes to sky, cross ankles, hips left, turn to the right, grab foot and lift. Flying Malasana, good. Walk the left foot back, step on the right, and then lift the left leg up, down dog split. Last time, tap your wrist, <sighs> squeeze it up. You should feel the core on that. Cross your ankles. Turn your hips to the right, step on the left. <sighs> Grab your foot and lift. <sighs> Pry that left knee to the back, right toes towards the front and then walk it on back, left foot steps down, reset down dog, that was your flow one. Since we were on the hands a bit, let's take a little counter stretch on the wrists before we go into our flow two. Give your wrists a little shake out. <sighs> nice work. All right, flow two, we start in, from standing. We're gonna take a warrior three pyramid, a little cow faced twist and bend, and then come right back up. Repeat on the other side. Start in the middle of your mat. Let's keep the right foot down, sweep the left foot back. Warrior three. Find that connection of the core. If you fall out, no big deal. Meet me back there. Warrior three, step back. Soften the knees as you release into pyramid. Left hip forward, right hip back, nose just melting down towards the knee, the shin, whatever's there. Now we're gonna spiral to our right, bringing your toes and knees for the ride, and try to land in a little cow-faced hip stretch. Create space for your right sit bone to melt down. We're trying to stack our knees, just depending on how open your hips are. Take a breath here. We're gonna reach to the back of the mat, a little twist, and then a little side bend. If you're quite flexible, you might bring your elbow forearm to the mat or just bend and stretch. And then we'll come back up to the top. Step on that right foot and step together. All right, balance, flow. Left foot stays down, right foot sweeps back. 
Find your active warrior three, right hip drops, reach long, make a T. Tap those right toes, bring it down, fold into pyramid. Drop the head heavy. So the first one will just kind of hang out and then we'll start to move quicker on the next two rounds of it. Turn your body to the left, bringing your knees and toes with you and then sit your hips down in between your heels. Trying to settle that left sit bone, we'll take a quick twist to the back. Reset a little fold side bend to the back. Dropping in, trying to let settle into the left hip, stack the knees, breathe into those hips and now the right side body. Come back to the top. Maybe you can do this without hands and step together or just use your hands if you need to. Two more times picking up pace. Whoa, keep your right foot down, left foot sweeps back. Warrior three, sweep down, pyramid. Turn to your right, bring your knees to stack, drop into the hips, twist back, side bend back. Lift, spin home, step together. Keep your left foot down, right foot back. Warrior three, feel the little wiggles. See if you can strengthen the core there. Step back, drop in, pyramid, right hip forward, left hip back. Turn to the left, stack your knees, settle into the hips, twist to the back, side bend to the back. Lift and come back to standing. Kind of swivel out of it, trying to make that graceful. <laughs> Last time. Right foot stays down, left foot back. Warrior three. Step back, pyramid pose. Turn to your right, cow-faced hip stretch. Twist to your right, the back of the mat as you drop through the right hip and side stretch. Get a little deeper. Lift, turn forward and see if you can seamlessly step together. Left foot down. Warrior three, right foot back, find your T, stretch. Toes down, drop in, pyramid. Turn left, pull your hips down, knees stack. Twist to the back, to your left. Side bend to the back, to your left. And come on up to stand. How'd that go? Awesome. Drill or flow three. We're going to do a little lizard kick through boat uh, forearm plank. All right, so come back to your downward facing nod and we're going to call this loaded beast from animal flow. We're going to pull our hips back. From this loaded beast, step your right foot outside your right pinky, lizard lunge. <sighs> step your left foot through the open space, kick it through. Find a boat pose and you'll keep the left hand down. We're going to pull onto the left forearm and spin to a left forearm side plank. Come back the way you went in. Boat, right foot down, step back and find that loaded beast. All right, so this one might take a little practice. Listen to the cues. Loaded beast, left foot lizard lunge, outside left pinky. Right foot kicks through, find boat. Keep your right hand down. We'll drop to the forearm and then spin into a right forearm side plank. It doesn't matter what direction you're facing. Just go where your body wants to go. Push the shoulder down, squeeze. Come back to your boat. Left foot drops, walk your hand outside the mat or hip. Lift and come back. Did we get there? Let's speed it up. Lizard right, kick through left, boat pose. Drop to the left forearm, spin your legs sideways, find a side forearm plank, come back to boat. Right foot steps down just like you went in, jump or step back. Load your beast, left foot steps wide. Lizard, kick through right, boat pose. Keep that right hand down, drop to the forearm and then spin, stack hips, feet, shoulders, ribs, breathe. Come back to your boat, left foot down, 
step or jump back through. Last time, lizard, kick through, boat, forearm, spin, forearm side plank, come down, spin back boat, right foot, left hand, jump or step back, lizard left, kick through right, boat pose, forearm down, spin and stack hips, cinch up that bottom waist, come back through boat, left foot, right hand down, jump or step back, relax. All right, give your wrists a little shake out and a counter stretch. We are going into some inversions and arm balances. If that's not in your practice, just go ahead and do a prep or keep the work small. We're gonna try, see if I don't hit anything, to roll into a little handstand or maybe it's just a little forward fold or a little donkey kick. And then we're gonna try to roll into a crow pose or it could just be a crow pose prep. Here's your prep. Set it up, but don't actually lift. All right, so come down into Malasana. This will only work if you have the mobility through your ankles and your heel, um, your calves, your hips. So see if it works for you. If it doesn't work at all, just roll into bow pose and use this as an abdominal exercise. Otherwise, let's try roll handstand, roll crow. I'm trying to find my spacing. <laughs> So we're gonna roll that. We're gonna kick our feet up and see if you can find a moment or not even hold it, it doesn't matter. Then roll back, set up your crow pose, knees into armpits or above the elbow on triceps. Pull your hips up, shoulders push down, heels to butt. There's your crow or it's just a crow prep. Totally fine, work at your level. Let's do this three, more times, cardio finisher on the first round. Roll, hands down. Roll, find the pacing, you don't have to keep my pace. Roll, crow. It helps to turn your palms a little bit into external rotation, index finger forward or even a little bit further, elbow crease forward, and spread your fingers, always spread your fingers. That pulls up the forearm, makes the whole arm fire, Gives you a bigger base of support. Give me a few more rounds. Try to jump some form of handstand or fold, some form of crow or prep. Again. Breathe. If you are in crow and want to try to jump back through vinyasa, shoot the feet back, elbows to ribs. Heart through, up dog. Exhale, down dog. We're gonna do those three, no, four flows all together without breaks, going from right to left. Right toes up, down dog split. Right toes to right pinky or wrist tap. Lift, down dog split. Cross ankles, turn your hips to the left, step on the right, grab your left foot like a stirrup. Pull it forward. Widen the right knee towards the back. Pull that knee towards your face on the left. Now step back, walk over, right down, left leg up. Down dog split, left leg. Toe tap. Squeeze it up. Cross your ankles. Spin to the right, left foot steps. Right foot, you grab. Pull it forward. Flying Malasana. Good, from here, we're gonna step our right foot down and fly warrior three. Do we get there? Warrior three, pyramid, back up and fold. Turn to your right, cow face, stack your knees. Turn to the right, twist. Side bend to the right. Lift back up, turn home, and step up, switch. Left down, right back. Warrior three, stretch. 
Toes down, fold pyramid. Drop your head heavy. Turn to your left, bring your toes and knees, stack them and sit. Twist to the left and fold to the left. Come back, this time turn forward and jump back. We're starting this one in that loaded beast position, lizard right, kick through left. Find your boat, drop to the forearm, sweep your hips, stack forearm side plank, come back. Forearm side plank, right foot down, lift, jump or step back. Lizard left, kick through right, find your boat, drop onto the right forearm, turn and stack your hips, lift, forearm side plank, come back the way you went in, right hand down, lift, jump back. Now, big jump forward to Malasana, hop forward. Whew. Roll handstand or anything. And roll crow. Again, it doesn't have to be a perfect handstand. Whatever you got, go with it. One more time. Roll some kind of hand down, hips up. And then roll Bakasana crow pose, or maybe this is a crane. Pulling your knees high, straight, and your elbows hug your heels in. Jump back. Up dog. Child's pose. Woo! All right, here's where you're going to find some time to relax and stretch the wrists. Maybe drink some water, walk around, take a little break, and then we'll get into the second half of class. Four more drills, flow them together. That's a wrap. Exercise one or flow one starts right on the knees in a camel pose. So we're gonna come into a seated position, kneeling. We're gonna take like the warm up, our right hand to our right heel and sweep a side camel. You could tuck your toe under for a little bit of height. From there, we're going into twisting lunge. You're gonna take this right foot, step it forward, tuck your left toes, twist your lunge. Pry that right hip back. Scissor the inner thigh, straighten the back knee and pull arms apart. Now standing twist, look forward, take that back foot, grab a hold of your big toe, or you could catch behind the knee. If your hamstrings feel tight and you don't wanna straighten, here's your standing twist. We're going back down, lower, and then pull your hips back. Left side, spiral to that little sideways camel. So left hand to left heel or fingers. Sweep it up, step the left foot forward, tuck your right toes, lift, twisting lunge. Scissor your inner thigh, straighten the back knee, arms pull. Now look forward, left peace fingers on right big toe, go for the standing twist or modify, grab under the knee and keep the knee bent. Take a big breath as you rotate the shoulders to stack, pull the belly in. Come back the way you went in, just kneel and step together. Let's pick it up a little bit quicker for two more rounds. Camel to the right, you can tuck those right toes under, maybe deep in the back bend. Step the right foot forward, left toes tuck, lift. Standing, uh, twisting lunge, standing twist. Grab your left big toe and rotate your body to the left, try to stack your spine, try to drop through the left hip. Come back and come to kneeling. Left side camel. Maybe it starts to open towards the sky, come back around the left, step the left foot, tuck right toes, standing, twisting lunge. Look forward, grab a hold of that big toe, standing twist. One more round, kneel, carefully pull the knees and hips back. Take it to the right, side sweeping camel, maybe open heart to sky, come back around the right, step right, tuck left toes, twisting lunge, turn gaze forward, 
Grab right fingers to a big toe, yogi toe lock, standing twist. Come back, come down. Left side sweeping camel. You can start to pry the heart up, elbow side. Come out to the left, step the left foot forward, tuck right toes, high twisting lunge. Turn gaze forward, grab peace fingers around big toe, lock it, standing twist. Okay, that was flow one. Flow two, I'm gonna have you step into plank position, and then let's bring the knees down. So we're gonna try to do a little chaturanga. I don't have a lot of space for this, but we're gonna take, maybe I'll face forward. Chaturanga, we're gonna try to lift the knees in the low plank. If you can't lift the knees, just skip that part. And then we'll just sweep into a side plank, bottom knee, top elbow. So I'm gonna see how I can make this fit here. But essentially, we're gonna take knees, chest, chin, option to fire up into a low plank. And then lift, sweep to your right. Step your left foot out, side stretch bottom knee, top elbow, side plank, and come on back. So if you have the space, this could just go sideways off your mat. I'm gonna end up turning a little bit more to stay in on my mat, all right? So walk or crawl forward, knees, chest, chin. Tuck your toes, see if you can tuck the pelvis and find low plank, chaturanga. Lift, spin your hand to the left, lift into left side plank, left, hand down, and then bottom knee, top elbow, connect, and pull it down. Let's go. Chaturanga, can you pull your knees up, tuck your pelvis, land, lift, sweep to your right, left foot steps out, knee to elbow, come back. Chaturanga, knees, chest, chin, maybe you pull your knees off the mat, lift, sweep to your left, step your right foot out, and take your knee to elbow, step it in. Two more, take it down. Knees, chest, chin, option, pop up off the knees, upper body strength. Push up, sweep to your right. Step the left foot out, elbow knee, come back. Chaturanga, or that knees, chest, chin, hold, tuck, land, now sweep to your left. Left hand down, open. Tuck elbow to knee. Take it down and come on back. All right, so essentially we're doing our side planks again sideways, but whatever direction, it doesn't really matter. It's a chaturanga and it's a side plank. All right, moving into flow three. We have wide leg fold, triangle, and then you're gonna drop onto the knee for a little partridge stretch, all right? So, I'm gonna have my back free to you for round one. We're gonna drop into a wide leg fold. Let your head be heavy, grab onto your heels or around something, calves, ankles, pull. As you turn to what's the front of our mat, we're gonna turn our right toes forward and lift into Trikonasana triangle pose. If you need to shorten your distance, walk your hand up your shin or you can keep it quite deep. Lengthen the tailbone, stack shoulders and ribs. When we land, we're gonna take the left hand and left knee down. You're in a little 90-90 lunge. And then we're gonna slice that foot back to partridge stretch. All right, so you're gonna try to grab the inside of the foot and then pull those toes up to sky like you're doing a little open hip dancer. All right, so to come to the other side, you'll simply walk back up, now we're facing the other direction. Wide leg forward, full drop in. First one will kind of hang out, take some breaths, and then the next two times we'll move a little quicker. As you turn to the front, left toes forward, right arm lifts, maybe you lift a little higher, or we try to keep that deep, lengthen the tailbone, stack shoulders, breathe here. Try not to get too far away from the leg, so you're kind of, everything's lined up over that left leg. Drop the right hand and knee. 
Turn to your left. This right foot's gonna naturally kickstand and you'll take your partridge. You could grab the foot after it's up or before you lift, up to you. Kick, kick, kick. Puff out through the chest, push the shoulder down. Now walk up to the top of the flow. Inhale, let's go. Wide leg forward fold, drop in. Turn to the right, right foot forward, trikonasana, triangle. Drop left hand, left knee, turn right, kickstand left foot, partridge. Walk on the right, step all the way up, wide leg, little pigeon toe, inhale, diving forward fold. Wide leg fold. Turn home, left toes turn forward, right arm lifts. Triangle, a little wobbly. Drop the right knee, right hand. Spin your right foot to the right and kick that left foot up into the hands. Allow it to stretch the shoulder and chest and use that back posterior chain. Step it up. Last time through, inhale high. Exhale, wide leg fold. Turn to the right. Bring your toes in, hip, and then lift and stack. Trikonasana, drop left hand, left knee, turn right, partridge. Puff out through the heart, kick, squeeze the glutes, shoulder, walk it up to stand, up, up. Last one, inhale, exhale, fold. Turn your left toes forward, open up through the right side, stack. Trikonasana, drop through the right hand and right knee. Kick, stand, open, grab the foot and spin. Finding your partridge, beautiful. Release it down, take a moment. All right, we are on our final flow. Four number, flow number four. And then we'll do them one more time through, putting the pieces together. This one starts in a forearm plank. Come on down, we work some funky forearms. Maybe you can jump up to a funky pincha. Uh, just like we did the handstand, you don't have to hold it. And if you don't feel comfortable, just don't jump. So find a forearm plank, tuck the pelvis, push the shoulders down. Right hand is gonna slide back to funky arm position. It's in line with the elbow, but still shoulder width apart. Now, as you walk forward into a funky down dog, hug the right knee in, Think of a funky flying crow prep. And then as you lift, take a little hop. So we'll do a little tuck. We'll do a little jump off the left, right toes to sky. Tuck, jump, you don't have to get there, all the way up, good. Then walk back to funky forearm plank and we're gonna stack the hip and drop the hip for two. Stack the hip and tuck the hip. Then switch, right elbow down, left hand back. Tiptoe forward, left knee taps, armpit or tricep, a little jump. Left knee tucks, right toes hop off. Left tuck, hop, walk back. Shift the hips to stack, side plank, and then funky forearm plank, side plank, funky forearms, drop to the forearms. All right, before we do that again, let's just kind of relax into the shoulders a little bit, give them some love. It's a lot on the shoulders. So let's do a little crisscross and then we'll repeat that two more times. Maybe releasing through the neck, whatever feels good. You can take a little counter stretch on the wrists. All right, so it starts in the forearm plank, moves to funky, tuck and jump, then that funky side plank, funky plank. All right, here we go. Drop your elbows under your shoulders, walk back. Forearm plank, right hand slips back. Walk forward, lift the hips. Right knee tucks and then jump. Crawl back, side plank, stack. Forearm plank, this is twice, stack and land, then switch, little commando switch, elbow, left hand, crawl forward, funky down dog, left knee tucks, jump off the right toes. You don't have to catch the moment, but if it's there, go for it. Walk back, stack, funky plank, stack forearm plank, 
funky plank. One more round, let's fight for it. Right hand, walk it in. Right knee taps above the elbow, and then we try to jump up. Nice, walk back. Funky side plank to funky plank. Side plank, stay, switch, left hand walks, feet walk forward, left hand steps down. Left hand sweeps up, tiptoe in, funky down dog, left knee tucks, jump up, maybe you find the pincha, no worries, if not, walk back, my shoulders are on fire, side plank, Funky forearm, drop the left hip. Lift the left hip, drop the left hip. Let's come up to stand uh, to high plank. <sighs> Down dog stretch. Whew. All right, land on the knees. And again, take a moment to yourself, whether that is a vinyasa and you wanna power through some more work, or you need a quick little moment before we put the last and final four flows together. Start at the back of your mat on your knees, kneeling down for that little camel twist. Big breath in, big sigh out. Let's do this. Sweep to the right, you can tuck your right toe under. Side camel, maybe opening heart to sky. Then rotating to the right, step the right foot, tuck your left toes, elevate your twisting lunge. Turn forward, step, grab your left, big toe with your right fingers, find that standing twist. Going back to kneeling and then down, starting on the left. Tuck your left toes, sweep to the left, half camel, open heart to sky. Come out towards the left, step your left foot forward, tuck your right toes, elevate. Twisting lunge, oof, I needed to cheat. <laughs> Pull the arms apart, look forward, grab onto right big toe, find your standing twist, try to straighten out, turn, perfect. Come down the way you went in, right knee down, knees meet. Going into your chaturanga, crawl your chest through, elbows to ribs. This is your knees, chest, chin with your option to try to pull your knees off the ground, chaturanga. Bring the knees down, sweep to the right. Left foot comes out, little side plank gate pose, and then a bottom knee, top elbow tap. Come back around. Find your knees, chest, chin. Lift your knees off the mat. Find a low plank, chaturanga. Drop to the knees, push up. Sweep to your left. Find your big side stretch. Then gather up your strength, bottom knee to top elbow. We're gonna come up to standing, step the right foot forward, turn to your left, inhale up, wide leg fold. Drop in, turn your right toes, go towards the top of the mat and then stack your shoulders, ribs and hips for triangle pose. As you drop to the left hand and left knee, we're gonna spin to the right, your left toes kind of kickstand to the left, partridge breath. Coming up, facing the right. Walk up, wide stance. Inhale, up. Exhale, wide leg fold. Drop in heavy. Turn your left toes home. Sweep your right arm up. Triangle pose. Try to pull, kind of lengthen the tailbone, prime your right hip to stack. Then drop right knee, right hand. Right foot kicks towards the right, and we grab the left foot, finding your partridge pose, outside top of the foot grip. Take a breath here. Going into final flow, we're gonna drop down onto the forearms. Take your right hand, back it up, pressing into funky plank. Walk the hips up, funky down dog, right knee, on the right tricep, and then jump off the left toes. Walk back, funky plank, side plank, funky plank, side plank, funky plank. Now switch, right elbow, left hand. Tiptoe in, 
Left knee finds the shelf, left tricep. Jump, or it could just be a very low hop. Walk it back to that forearm plank. Side forearm plank, funky plank. Drop the hip, lift the hip, drop the hip. Come up to plank, high plank. Chaturanga, upward facing, downward facing. Lower to the knees. Find a child's pose. Take some nice calming breaths in your child's pose. Be sure to stretch anything else out you feel like you need to. Try to release into the wrists a bit, the neck, the shoulders. If you have time for a little shavasana, might feel really good. I will leave you here today. Thank you so much for your support. Please leave me a comment. Let me know your favorite flow, how it went, or just give me a hi so I know you made it to the end. If you enjoy this style of flow, it's called HIT Yoga. I believe this is my 20th round. I have a whole playlist, tons of them. So be sure to hit me up on another class and I will see you soon. Bye.